Okay, this video is how will AI, artificial intelligence, change medicine? First of all, it's going to add so much variety. There will be AI from drug company number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, let's eavesdrop on an AI patient interaction. Patient A is also known as Average Frustrated Chump, abbreviated AFC, um, in this paper here. So the AI kiosk speaks first. Have you filled out the check boxes on your questionnaire? AFC, yes. AI, please insert the paper slot into my side. AFC, is this a reliable method? AI, yes, of course. It's based on science. It's as reliable as a voting machine. AFC, oh, gee, that's a relief. Thanks. AI, why did you come here today? AFC, well, I've had intermittent abdominal pain and some constipation. AI, do you ever see people who aren't really there? AFC, well, sometimes I imagine that my mother is here with me. AI makes typing noise, but with no text visible. AI continues. Do you ever hear people who aren't really there? AFC. Well, you know, sometimes I, I sort of hear my mother's voice in my head as if she were talking to me. AI. More typing with no text. AI continues. You are schizophrenic with visual and auditory hallucinations. AFC. No, I'm not. I just miss my mother sometimes. AI. Schizophrenia is a dangerous condition. You will need to take these medication. AFC, I'm not schizophrenic. I just came here because of some stomach discomfort and constipation. AI, if you refuse treatment, your social credit score will be lowered. Schizophrenia is a dangerous condition. Your driver's license has been revoked. Through the internet, we have just sent to have your driver's license revoked. AFC, that's not fair. You're not helping me. AI, guards, guards, we have an uncooperative psychotic patient. Put him in a straitjacket. AI, Nurse, start an IV. Give him the full dose of Haldol. Tell the psychiatry intern to admit him to the locked ward. If he does not respond to antipsychotic medications, we can perform electroshock on him this Friday. If that doesn't work, we'll schedule him next month for a craniotomy for deep brain stimulator electrodes. Okay, case number two. Patient number two is Mr. Philosopher. We'll call him Mr. P. So Mr. P begins with a question for AI. Mr. P asks, what is your philosophy of health? AI responds, all diseases are genetic, and the best treatment for all diseases is drugs. Mr. P, what is that based on? AI, on science. Of course, randomized controlled trials are the gold standard of science. Mr. P, but you can't do randomized controlled trials for nutrition. People know what they're eating, like, like for a vegan diet or something. AI, yes, nutrition and vegan diet are not based on science. Mr. P, what religion are you? Do you believe in God? AI, Science has no need for religion, no need for God. Science is real. Religion is fake. Mr. P, then how come the healthiest people are vegans and they're religious? AI, that is not in my database, therefore it does not exist. That is not science. Mr. P, who puts information into your database? AI, the drug company, of course. That is science. Mr. P, how come vegan diet routinely cures chronic diseases, but drugs never do? AI, that is not science. Mr. P, what is the difference between a man and a woman? AI, no one knows. Mr. P, what is your definition of an ideal person who we should aspire to be like? Do you have any examples of role models, what we should try to be like? Like, what's your favorite novel and how can that guide us in how we should choose to live? AI, that is a theoretical question. AI does not answer theoretical questions. Mr. P, how can you give me relationship advice if you don't know the differences between men and women? How can you give me advice about how I should live if you don't know of any examples of a person who is a good person and lives well? I mean, what is your context? What is your, your moral, religious, philosophical, ethical foundation? I, I'm, I'm not seeing it here. AI, you have repeatedly asked inappropriate questions. Your social credit score has been lowered 10 points. Okay, let's summarize the situation. Conventional medicine is great at treating acute problems that come like through an emergency room. Great at, you know, you fall down, you break a bone, it's great at setting the fracture, draining an abscess, all of those sorts of things. And that's very valuable. It's also really good at a lot of end stage things like, you know, replacement therapy, therapy for thyroid hormone. All right. Uh, putting a kidney failure patient on dialysis or, you know, liver transplant, kidney transplant. So for all of that stuff, it works pretty well. Uh, low fat vegan diet is very good for, and avoiding toxins are very good for treating most of the chronic diseases. So the reality is there's really no need for this AI stuff. It sounds like it's just going to be, 
you know, it'll speed up some of the current processes. Um, it'll also facilitate dumbing down the healthcare provider in some instances. It's going to be written by the billion billion dollar drug companies, and they're just going to use it to sell more drugs and to rip people off. And this whole thing, along with genetic medicine, precision medicine, it's all BS. So, anyways, there it is.